So with some NFL news, the Seattle Seahawks have signed Alden Smith. And yesterday we talked about Jadavion Clowney going to the Browns. And we were talking about for the Browns how Jadavion Clowney, he might not be the guy you expected coming to the league that could get you 15 sacks a year. But across from Garrett of Miles, Miles Garrett, that man could be a pro. And now for the Seahawks with Alden Smith. He might not be the guy that could get you 15 sacks back in 15 sacks back in the day when he was on the Niners before he started going crazy, but now he's gotten himself together and he was back with the Cowboys and again he might not be able to get you all those crazy sacks, but what he can do is probably be the best pass rusher on that Cowboys team last season. And now this season for the Seahawks, he doesn't have to be that because if this were the beginning of last season for the Seahawks, Oh boy, would he have had to care. But after that Carlos Dunlap trade, the whole defense just came together and oh my goodness was that man a walking pass rush to himself. So now Alden Smith, he's got a defense with actual players around him other than those boys of the cow where you didn't have too much talent around him. Now you've got a great defensive lineman, great pass rusher in Carlos Dunlap on the opposite side of you. You got Jamie Adams to back you up. You've got a little bit going on. That Seahawks defense was actually becoming great in the second half of the season. It's just the offense absolutely just imploded. And all offseason, you know, we know the Seahawks chatter has been Russell Wilson needs a better offensive line. I've been saying it. Give him a better offensive line! And everyone's wanting to say, Ooh, look at these Cardinals. They brought in Johnson, Geronimo Lunt. These Rams still have Aaron Donald. The 49ers are bringing back Bosa. Russell Wilson's gonna get killed. And yeah, it's you, you, you gotta approve this offensive line somehow. Draft, make something happen because, oh, it's gonna be tough with the line he's had. But to flip it, those teams... They're not going to have the easiest of time going up against Alden Smith and Carlos Dunlap. This isn't going to be the Seahawks of the first few games last season where quarterbacks could drop back. They can look, see who's in the stands. Where's mama at? Where's the cuzzies? Where's, where's everybody at? Oh, did we make our dinner reservations? Oh, now let me look for who's open. And I'll still have plenty of time and then let me sling it. It's going to be different. If you watch the second half of the season, Carlos done that, but it ended all that. And so now you're bringing Alden across from Carlos, a guy who had five sacks, basically being the best pass rusher on the team. If you get no double teams this season, which you wouldn't expect much with Carlos Dunlap, maybe you can even up that number. Maybe move up it to seven? Eight? And he gets in the backfield even more than those numbers suggest. I am, you know... These Cowboys games are often prime time because the boys of the cow, for whatever reason, draw a lot of attention. So I watched a decent amount, and it felt like he had more than five sacks. You know, he was talked about a lot. He was getting in the backfield. He was creating pressure. Holland Smith, he is still an impact player. Again, maybe not what he was or what what he could have been if he just stayed focused, stayed, you know, mentally, you know, right, didn't make all those mistakes. But he, st- he could still ball. He stood that that's really a testament to how great he truly is because after all those years off, he could still ball. And for these Seahawks, it's what we like to see. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and can you subscribe, please? Yes, sir.